At this time, I'm going to bring the city council to order. Just a little homework. If you were given an agenda or have possession, we sort of got the ordinances out of order. So you do it from the lowest numerical one to the highest. So we'll be doing ordinance 6859 first, ordinance 6862 second, and ordinance 6863 third. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we will have invocation. I'll turn it over to Councilwoman Sanders, and you may rise or you may remain seated as ask, you choose. I'm gonna ask yeah. Pastor Catron to come. He's from the Carpenter's House Church to give the invocation tonight. Thank you for coming tonight, Pastor, you. your wife. Join with me in prayer. Father, Lord, thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful day you've made. And Lord, today I come to you and I ask for your guidance and your wisdom. You've entrusted in us a great privilege to serve this community. And Lord, even on Sundays and we, we pray over this city, we pray over this great town of ours. And I just ask that your hand is upon this meeting. Let your wisdom come forth, Lord. Let your guidance come forth. And in the end, Lord, let your love shine through, Father. I pray for the seats in front of me. I pray for the seats behind me. That every vision, every voice, and every word spoken is of one accord and of great honor and glory to you. Thank you for being with us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. We'll have a Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, would the clerk please call roll? Councilman Wyant. Here. Councilman Cameron. Here. Councilwoman Young. Here. Councilman Hayworth. Here. Councilman Kennedy. Here. Councilman Hayes. Here. Councilman Weikert. Here. Councilwoman Sanders. Here. Councilman Nicklick. Here. Thank you. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the council meeting of March 27th. So moved. Second. Second. Motion has been made. Motion has been second. Is there any further questions from anyone in the audience or on the council? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next council meeting will be held May the 8th. And also at that time, should the ordinance pass, we will have a public hearing on ordinance 6862. Public hearing will be held in this room and uh, the informational meeting will be held prior to the council meeting at 5.30 in the room behind us. Is there any communication to come from anyone on the council at this time? Okay. Um, at this time, for those that aren't regulars, this is the time where we take communication from the public. Um, we ask you to come to the microphone, give your name and address. We ask you to be brief and to the point, and um, so we can hear the information that you had to present. Do we have anyone? Please. Well, let's do the, I, I know what you guys are going to do. Let's okay. let these gentlemen go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My name is Clinton Paul. I'm here with my father today, who's a, the owner of a local establishment of the Red Dog Saloon here in Kokomo. And we are looking to file a simple petition for the vacation of a, a vacated right of way for a small parcel of property that's connected to his. Um, I just wanted to file the petition today. They were told to do that today. We set it on the agenda for maybe the 8th and have a hearing at that point. Do we have the petition? And Mr. Sheline, no? I do not believe Carrie Strandon's office. Okay. Okay. I can't accept that okay. because it would it would fall into a black hole of never. Yeah. Happened. Right. We okay. don't want that. No. So you would go to our city engineer, okay. Carrie Stranahan, Okay. And talk to him at that time. There is a legal process. Sure. We were notified by the auditor. Right. Yes. To come here. So that's kind of how uh, how we ended up here. So. I'll get her for that. But okay. <laughs> uh, no. <coughs> <coughs> the she, she, you, you've been misinformed. That's okay. 
we, we normally hear them after they have been brought before us in the form of a resolution or right. an ordinance, mm -hmm. and we would vote yes or no on that. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to redirect you to Mr. Stranahan, Kerry Stranahan. He's on the third floor. Uh, he's second. here. Excuse me. Second, second floor. Second floor of this building. Uh, yeah. Okay. Eight, eight to four. Uh, go, go talk he's got, to him. He's got a staff, too. If he's not there, too. you can... Okay. Yeah. You think there still, might be somebody hear. there, or is it a little Take too? Your you think there might be somebody there now, or is it too late? No. Uh, no. Okay. No. That's okay. We'll do it tomorrow then. So, okay. See you in a couple yes. weeks. All right. All right. All right. I'm Thank sorry, you. but we, we just we saw new faces, man. We're glad to see you come. You're welcome to stay if you wish. All right. Now, gentlemen. Okay. Please give your name and address. Thank you, um, Councilman. And um, my name is Vernon Graves, 4510 Lakeshore Drive, and I'm with the Howard County Automotive Heritage Hall of Fame. And we're getting ready to make a historic monument uh, for the city of Kokomo. And I'd like Gary Loveless to kind of explain everything. This is, uh, I'll let Gary explain it. <clears throat> Mr. Loveless, give your Thank you. full name and address. Please. Gary Loveless, 2275 West Jefferson Street, Kokomo, Indiana. Thank you. It's really a privilege to be here today. Um, most of you are aware of the Howard County Automotive Heritage Hall of Fame and the various things. You've always supported us as a council, and we uh, want to thank you public for that. I want to give you a couple, three things that we're trying to do. Number one, as you already know, I think, our business is trying to preserve and promote our automotive heritage. We started off with the 1894 car, the art piece. It's now over in the art alley, artist alley, and uh, we, we donated that to the Greater Economic Development Alliance. Then next, last June, we actually uh, sculpt the sculptor uh, D.J. Bowden did the sculptor of the of the uh, statue of Elwood Haynes, and it's now over on the west side of the of the uh, Cyberly Mansion, and we donated that to the county. So we went to the mayor and went to the Jackrabbits, and we said we would like to do something uh, to show why the Jackrabbits were named the Jackrabbits. It's after the Apperson car, the Apperson Jackrabbit's car. And so we had a meeting upstairs about a year and a half ago, and uh, they said, man, this is neat, because the mayor said, I want to try to have awareness. She said, a lot of people, 99% of the people in the community don't understand why it was named the Jackrabbit's. And we want to make people more aware of that and, and the reasoning for it. And uh, John Piercy, who's the uh, general manager for the, business manager for the uh, Jackrabbit, said, man, that's a great idea. So from there, we formed a team, the city, the Jackrabbits, and the Hall of Fame, and we are now going to place the Apperson Brothers statues in front of the Kokomo Municipal Stadium. And to, to sponsor all that, in the past, we've just gone to corporations and sponsored things on our own. This year, we said, Vernon said, we need to get the community involved in this one. So we're going out, we're selling bricks. And uh, we're going to sell bricks for $100, these, the big pavers for, uh, for $1,000, and then people that are on the plaque for the larger one, $5,000 or more, which we already have three of, uh, will uh, be on the big plaque that'll, that'll, that'll stand beside uh, the statues. We want to invite you to a public announcement ceremony on May the 16th at 11 a.m. over at the Kokomo Municipal Stadium. And, um, we will have uh, the mayor, and I've asked Bob Hayes, as president of the council, to say a few words. Uh, the Jackrabbits. Uh, we've also got Flaherty and Collins involved in this because of the preservation of the of uh, the front, at least part of the uh, old original Apperson Brothers building over here, and we worked out a deal with them. They're a major sponsor of what we're doing over here, and we're going to end up creating two historic destinations in downtown Kokomo. So that's sort of the summation of it, and we'd like to encourage you to come on the 16th, and also like to encourage you to consider buying a brick or a paver or something. I know Mike's already given us his 100 bucks yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's already bought one, but we'd like to encourage all of you to, to, one of the things that's really neat about this, and it's got excited, Vernon bought 11, and he bought 11 and he, because of his grandchildren and his children. He's, he's got about several grandchildren that play baseball. So wouldn't that, isn't that neat for them to walk up to the stadium, to the ball games, and say, hey, looky there, there's my name, you know, on the stadium. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to sell the excitement of it all and, uh, and educate the public about it. So 
If there's any questions or anything, I'd be glad to try to answer them for you. What time on the 16th? 16th, it's 11. 11 a.m.? 11 a.m., 16th. We'd sure like to have all of you there, and again, I've asked uh, your president to say a few words on behalf of the council. So. Okay. I want to thank you for coming tonight. I think that you have been a great presence in the community. Since my father had an antique car, several antique cars, and he was in the Pioneer Automobile Club, he had passed away just um, in 74, and that was when they were going to do the the drive down um, Haynes, and, and they renamed the, the road, and it's just been, it was just a wonderful time growing up with um, you know the events and it's a family family things and so I'm gonna buy a brick for all right father, the name of my father, so all right got two bricks so we might tell the <laughs> yeah we, and pavers too and uh, we've got forms here um, in fact I've, I gave Bob one you also be getting one Polly Bray is sending out either today she either did today or she's doing it tomorrow an email from me staying everything that I just said with a copy of this form for you to fill out so uh, with special invitation hey Bernie thank you Bernie can you get it close let me look that close up I'm sorry you can see close. Well, look thank you. Yeah. the bricks will be right in front of the statue in the sidewalk okay <clears throat> any uh, any other questions or comments a worthy cause and uh, I could have sworn I heard Mike White said he was buying each one of us a brick, but maybe I didn't hear that. Hey, uh, hey now wait a minute here. I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I did retire, Bobby. Oh, okay. I'm right. on a fixed income. All right. We have to talk to Nancy. She's got all the money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. We'll, uh, all of you, you know, please make note of the... Uh, of that and uh i'll get it off the email gary we'll get it that's going to be that form's going to be on there yeah. okay I'll okay it off there. all right Thank well you. let's uh let's get it let's get going is there any uh, other communication communication from susan Zoni. please come to the microphone and give your name and address please yes hi my name is susan zodi 13205 south 200 west kokomo indiana and i'm here tonight to also present another program to the community. Um, it's called Narrowgate Horse Ranch. We will be opening mid-June. We will be doing, having, um, launching the event to the community May 5th at First Church of the Nazarene at 7 o'clock. I'd like to invite all of you to come to that. Um, this program, and I have some brochures that I'd like to give all of you. Um, it will explain it more in, in depth. It started out of um, a program that I started with Urban Outreach like 11 and a half years ago and it was a way to keep kids coming to the program not just to eat a meal and then it in, ended up working into a horse ranch leadership class and the goal was to for the older kids to learn the skills to work with the horses to teach the younger kids um, and so that's kind of in a nutshell I could go on and on for hours so I don't really want to get started because I know <laughs> you wanted me to keep it brief but we do have there is a website that we have and it's on the on this brochure it's only six minutes long so if you could have you know have the time to take a look at that and um, it even has some of the kids on there that have been going for several years we've just seen some miraculous things we've seen um, just one real quick when I, uh, a little girl that I had that I was able to take we've been going to a place in Cicero for the last seven years and it's a therapeutic horse ranch this is a little different this is really going to be for kids with emotional and behavioral issues um, which a lot of the kids that are that are living in poverty have um, but we had a little girl that I started taking once a week down there. I was able to get her a scholarship. And at the beginning of the year, she had all Fs on her grade card um, and had missed so many days of school that she was about to be removed from, from the home and kicked out of school. About halfway through the school year, the teacher of record said, you know, he says, this little girl, there's something different. He says, I, she used to walk down the hallways with her head down and her shoulders slumped and like, just don't look at me leave me alone I don't you know I don't, I don't want to be bothered and he said now this was about three months later he said now he says I see her in the halls and she's got her head up and she's smiling and she's got friends and her grades are going up and by the end of the school year I picked her up one day from school and she comes out with a big smile and throws her progress report at me and it had all A's and a B plus right. wow. and so those and that's just one I mean I could go on with so many 
so many different stories about these kids and what we're seeing. I'm not even a horse person. I'm not doing this because I love horses, because I'm learning right along with the kids. I, I started taking them just as a way to keep them coming instead of going to getting into things that they shouldn't be getting into. Um, but then as I watched things like this story I just told you happening over and over again, um, I thought, wow, this, this is something we could use in the community. So two little over two years ago in March, um, I had a meeting with some people that I personally knew that were leaders in the community just to see if they thought this is something that that the community would support and it was all very positive so we formed a board and we got our 501c3 and in about a month's time which surprised all of us and we've just been going ever since and so we hope to open in June and once again the um, we're having it's it's a it's a concert on May 5th, and we will be telling more of the details at that time. So is it okay if I pass? Sure. Does, sure. does anybody have any questions? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll just pass these out and. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other communication? Thank you. Okay. Hearing none, and I'll let let her get at least past me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's get. Uh, Thank you. Is there any committee reports? Okay. Let's go with our first ordinance. Would the clerk please read ordinance 6859 by title only? An ordinance concerning acquisition, construction, or improvement of sewage works authorizing issuance of sewage works revenue bonds for such purpose providing for collection segregation and distribution of revenue of sewage works and safeguarding of interest of owners of sewage work revenue bonds other matters connected therewith and repealing ordinance inconsistent herewith councilman kennedy i move for a suspension of the rules to pass ordinance 6859 on first and second reading Support. Second. Motion has been made to uh, suspend the rules to pass ordinance 6859 on first and second reading. Is there any further discussion from anyone on the council or anyone in the audience? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Councilman Kennedy? I'll move for passage of ordinance 6859 on second reading. Or Councilman Kennedy? This particular ordinance is in the amount of $23.5 million. It will continue the federally mandated uh, long-term control plans for sewage and flood mitigation. Uh, continues all the improvements uh, to the combined sewer uh, overflow systems. And it will be paid through revenues that we have, uh, will collect from the latest uh, sewage increase, which we passed several months ago. Uh, and once again, I want to you know, it is federally mandated, so it's one of those things that we don't have a choice. Of course, as the federal government mandates, they don't always send a check along with it. So uh, these bonds will be paid off in, in no longer than 20 years, uh, hopefully sooner than that. But uh, so I move for passage, urge for passage of this ordinance on second reading. And we have someone here. If there's any questions, we do have uh, the bond uh, issuer and from Barnes and Thornburg and our city controller as well to answer any questions you might have. Mm -hmm. Okay, hearing none. Um, is there any further communication from anyone on the council or in the audience in regards to this? Last chance. Hearing none, all those in favor of passage of ordinance 6859 on second reading, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Would the clerk please read ordinance 6862 by title only? Additional appropriation from the Board of Public Works and Safety. Councilman Kennedy? I uh, move for passage of ordinance 6862 on first reading. Forward. Thank you, Councilman Kennedy. Uh, this is a ordinance that will appropriate an additional 1.2, well, $1,225,250 uh, from the general fund into the Board of Works so that they can make some payments 
uh, for annual lease payment on Kokomo Municipal Stadium in the amount of $938,000. Uh, also, interest payment on the uh, 305 Riverfront District of $176,250 and additional interest payment uh, to the YMCA for the July payment of $112,000. And once again, it's a total of $1,226,250. And uh, I move for passage of this ordinance on first reading. Thank you. Is there any further communication from anyone on the council or anyone in the audience in regards to this ordinance? Okay, thank you. Therefore, all those in favor of passage of ordinance 6862 on first reading, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Would the clerk please read ordinance 6863 by title only. Rezoning MI to C1 location 1300 West Markland Avenue. Petitioner Matt Johnson, first reading. Thank you, Councilwoman Young. Mr. President, I move for suspension of the rule and pass off at 6863 on first and second reading. Please. Thank you. Support. A motion has been made to suspend the rules to pass ordinance 6863 on first and second reading. Is there anyone in the count on the council or in the audience would like to have any words in regards to that motion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Councilwoman Young. Um, Mr. President, I move for passage on ordinance 6863 on second reading. Support. Thank you. Councilwoman Young? Yes, the petitioner, Matt Johnson, he is requesting change in zone classification from moderate industrial light manufacturing to medium scale general commercial. And it's for property at 1300 West Markland. And they're planning to use this for a um, convenience store with the gas pump. Right at 1300 West Markland. Okay. Is there any further discussion from anyone on the council or in the audience in regards to the passage of this motion on second, or this ordinance on second reading? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no further business to come before this council. This meeting is adjourned.